A bidirectional laboratory connection enables the orders created within waiting room solutions to be electronically sent to the laboratory and the results to be electronically received within the waiting room solutions to the lab. This is a superior method of ordering and managing results. Not only is it easier to issue the order, but there is much greater granularity in control and review of the results with a bidirectional connection. It also ensures better meaningful use compliance. The reference laboratory has a list of labs that have been ordered by the providers in the practice. That list is then sent to Waiting Room Solutions for importing into the system and matching to your practice. The laboratory codes used by each laboratory may be different and for a single reference laboratory, different locations may have different codes. Because of this, Waiting Room Solution takes great care to ensure that the correct matching of codes. The electronic connection is then established and tested by both parties. Each party goes through a testing, review, and response process. We will now show you how easy it is to set up labs in Waiting Room Solutions. Once setup is done, there should not be any regular management on the part of the practice. What is the cost of the practice of the connection? Typically, there is no cost to the practice. The connection costs are typically paid by the reference laboratory. Receiving laboratory tests electronically is a great benefit to the reference labs saving them from rekeying information and having to send results through multiple means to ensure they are received by the ordering provider. Waiting Room Solutions allows you better control by associating labs with insurances. Because of contractual relationships between reference labs and insurance companies, you may not want all of your patients' labs to go to one reference laboratory. Here you have the control to select which orders are sent to which labs based on your patient's insurance. Let's look at one of these insurances. For this insurance, LabCorp was the selected lab. You can edit this. You would then add codes. On the CPT Superbill, we put the LabCorp codes in one section. Each reference laboratory has their own set of codes. There are standard nomenclatures like CBT and LOINC. However, unfortunately, the major reference laboratories do not use these nomenclatures for their business operations. Because of this, we allow the inclusion of specific codes from that lab. For example, we see that the lab core codes starts with the letters LC. So you may have already entered tests like hemoglobin A1C using the standard CPT code for this. If you plan on sending this order to LabCorp, you just add their codes to your Superbill. I will now add hemoglobin A1C to the Superbill. Now we see hemoglobin added to the list. Remember, this is a one-time setup. After the initial setup is done, the workflow is extremely fast, smooth, and efficient. Let me show you through a patient's encounter. Select whether the blood was drawn at the practice's office or at a drawing station. That's it! Your order has been sent to the lab. You can also view the requisition. The requisition can be printed and signed from this screen. However, the more common workflow will be that the requisition will be printed by the front desk on checkout. Let me show you how easy this is. If a laboratory has been ordered that requires a requisition, the Print Lab Requisition button appears and is clicked by the front desk. The requisition then appears for printing. As you can see, setting up and using a 